Now, my private Tokyo. Tokyo is home to thousands of foreigners. Everyone has their favorite places and things to do. We're going to find out just what they are. This time, it's the turn of Sławę Kowalewski, who's Polish and has lived in Japan for three years. He's going to show us his route from Higashinakano to Nishiazabu. Hi, I'm Sławę Kowalewski. I'm from Poland. I live in Tokyo in Higashi Nakano. I'm a composer for film and commercials, and today I'll show you around. I always take my bike when I get around, not even to my work, but basically almost every day. I'm kind of sick of the trains, because you always see the same things from the trains, the same people, and you lose a lot of time. You also see more and different and more interesting things. You see different people, different sceneries, things that are happening and you would never see from a train. So the things that I see every day, um, traveling by bike, really influence my creativity and inspire my work. This marketplace is a really fascinating place. Usually, anybody can go through the market area. It's a licensed wholesale market for fruits. It's, it's really interesting because it's a different, totally different lifestyle. People are working really hard. So we got here mangoes and some nice things from Thailand. What's that? Oh, it's like durian. It stinks. That's actually Nisha Shinjuku and that's the skyscraper district. It's a really, really huge and concrete kind of monstrous place. Well, of course, it's very impressive and I really like it. That's Shinjuku Chuo Koen and it's a, it's a rather big park, and, but people don't really, really know about it. And this is a place I sometimes pass by my bike, I take a break. But the best thing what I like about it is that you have those really old, small, hidden places, old, like this temple. So this is the goddess Bodhisattva. People come here to pray and bring offerings, like the Sembazade. You can see so many. So nice, handmade. This is Omotosando. Everybody knows Omotosando. You have plenty of nice, luxurious brand and gorgeous people. It's very nice, but of course you get sick of it because everybody knows it and you always hang around here. But it's still nice. So this is Nisi Azabu. You have very nice small streets and very kind of cool hidden places, but still very, very well maintained. And this is another shop I would like to show you. It's a Japanese traditional sweet shop. It's there already for 40 years. And uh, there's a married couple who runs the shop. The husband makes the cakes and of course the wife is selling them.
So, this is the studio I usually work at at night. And this was the way to Tokyo with me and through my very small, private, different local streets. And of course I try to find every day in still new streets. This really gives me a lot of energy and inspiration. So I hope you enjoyed it and um, well, check it out on your own.